Module PHLT, Instructor Lecture, Episode 1, Introduction, Why We Waste. To be wasteful or not to be wasteful, that is the question. To waste or not to waste, why do we waste? It is a choice, although often not one we are conscious of or want to admit making. We often feel we have no choice because the practice is all around us, embedded in our culture like apple pie and the apple skins and cores and seeds you throw away after you make it. American families used to feed it to their pigs. To my grandmother's generation, living through the scarcity of World War II rationing, waste was more or less an anathema. Food scraps were fed to the hogs and chickens or turned into soil. Animal carcasses and cooking grease were rendered into fats and oils, used to make explosives in the war, nitroglycerin. The effort was called bacon to bombs. Scrap metal was gathered and sold to make artillery. Bottles were turned back into bottles. People would darn a sock and patch their clothes. And plastics were still by and large a thing of the future, a future we hadn't graduated into yet. Life wasn't paradise, as the war showed only too gruesomely, but the planet was still teeming with life. The oceans resplendent with fish and coral, wildlife abounding in massive and at times seemingly endless forests and grasslands. Coal was being mined and burned, and oil was being pumped and burned at ever-accelerating rates, and the greenhouse effect and climate change were being discussed by scientists and businesses as a clear and present danger on the horizon. But when the war ended and America triumphantly pushed the world into industrial exaltation with the 1950s offering better living through chemistry and the promise of electricity too cheap to meter from the mighty atom, and, and, and when we were teaching our children we'd entered a golden age of prosperity, there came a forced sense of false optimism that twisted our aspirations into the creation of the first culture on planet Earth to invent excuses to waste.